Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Lash. I am the Survivor and Caregiver Engagement Chair on the Nationwide Relay Leadership Team. And today I am a little fangirl because I am here with Dr. Alpa Patel. And I will ask you to introduce yourself. So I am Alpa Patel and I've been with the research department. Uh, I run the Cancer Prevention Study 3 and I've been here for 21 years as staff. But more importantly, I think, is that I've been a relayer for 23 years. That's exciting. <laughs> I've been a relay for 20 years, so Excellent. 23, yay. So CPS3, which is Cancer Pre Prevention Study 3, you're the lead researcher. Yes. What is happening with CPS3? So, well, I think as most people know, because we did such a big push and the relay community was so critical in recruiting these 300,000 people from across the country, we are now in our second cycle of follow-up. So what that means is we send out a survey, both electronically or on paper, for our participants to update their lifestyle and medical information. Um, unfortunately, we do have individuals in the study population that have been diagnosed since enrollment with cancer. Uh, so we follow up with them to get additional information about that diagnosis. In some cases for uh, certain types of cancer, we also get their tissue specimens so that we can really look at what is going on in that tumor itself, as well as all of that other lifestyle and medical information to understand how cancer develops so that we can find better ways to prevent it. Wow, so you're doing research that means eventually there'll be a cancer-free world for me and my family? How cool would that be if we get to say that we were the ones that made cancer a thing of the past? That is what I do. I love to say that I will raise money for research for as long as it's needed, but I would love to put myself out of this job. Perfect. So can you clue us in on any of the major advancements you're seeing in CPS3 right now? So right now in the early years of follow-up, we tend to actually do a lot of work understanding different kinds of behaviors that we know are important for cancer. So one of the really cool projects that we have going on right now is actually looking at the genetics of why some people have a really difficult time quitting. They might try a dozen or more times to quit smoking cigarettes, but they just can't break that habit. And there's a number of things that make them highly dependent on that nicotine. And if we're successful in finding these genetic traits, then we can eventually, it may lead to development of some better cessation aids so that we're not giving a one size fits all to people trying to quit smoking. That's awesome because I think all of us know somebody who would like to quit smoking, pretty much like all of us know somebody who's had cancer. So can you clue me in on the relationship and the relevance between what Relay is and what it is for CPS3? Well, beyond when we think about CPS3, CPS3 wouldn't have built, been built without our Relay partners. It really was the truest example of a volunteer research partnership coming to life in communities across the country. But today, it is the dollars raised in Relay communities that allow us to continue doing all of this life-saving research that we're doing. But more importantly, I think, is it's also every community, that's where we tell our stories, that's where we highlight the advances that we're making, and where we take back what we know to make it important for the U.S. and worldwide. So if a relayer was looking at uh, someone who they want to talk to about CPS3 and let them know what's happening in the Ca American Cancer Society, can you give them one or two sentences that you would say? Oh, there's so many. I would say that we do bookend to bookend. We build the evidence base. We then take that evidence and it fuels our programs and services and it fuels our advocacy work. So we really touch the entire spectrum of cancer and fighting cancer. So I would say that if you want more information specifically about research, our website always has more information than you will probably know what to do with. But it's really about talking about that entire breadth of our research and what we do as an organization. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. We are here in Atlanta today and we have just learned what's going on with CPS3. So have a great day and go out and share the story.